Have you been trying to train your voice and you feel like it starts to, as you've been talking for a while, your voice starts to get tired and then you start to feel it slipping back down into your old range and you start to get frustrated because you realize it is starting to slip back down into your old voice, but at the same time you feel like it would feel really weird and really jarring to just all of a sudden correct it. It doesn't sound weird from a perception perspective. If I'm talking with somebody and they just correct their voice, it doesn't feel, it doesn't sound weird to me. Okay. But at the same time, I know it can feel weird to kind of correct yourself all of a sudden. So here's a little tip you can use. It's using rhetorical questions. So rhetorical questions are questions you ask and you don't care what the answer is. You just keep going, right? The reason why these are useful is because questions come up at the end, right? I ask a question. How are you? What's going on? Did you do something new with your hair? This sort of thing, this, it, it comes up at the end, right? This is how questions work in English, at least. Whereas statements come down. My name is Sophie. This is my YouTube channel. I'm sitting in my studio. That's a map behind me. It comes down to indicate a statement, right? Now you don't want to turn every sentence into a question because then it comes up all the time and it sounds kind of annoying and you end up sounding like a really ditzy valley girl, like you're questioning every single thing that you're saying. And that's, that's not very good. However, the occasional rhetorical question put into your speech can help you reorient because you're coming up. So you can reorient not only your pitch, but also your resonance as well. So you can ask like a full on question, but you can also just use things like, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Right? So maybe you're talking with somebody and you're talking about, let's say a transgender history YouTube channel that you thought was really interesting. And as you're talking to them about the Roman emperor Elagabalus, who may or may not have been trans, you start to feel your voice slipping back down a little bit. So you say, do you know anything about Elagabalus? And the reason why I, do you see what I did there? Right? Just asking that question helps reorient your voice. Just a little tip.